In this session of Campus Optics Tour, we will learn about integrated cabling in Huawei's fiber to the office solution. Simply speaking, an FTTO network consists of three parts, optical line terminal, optical distribution network, and optical network unit. Integrated cabling mainly refers to the deployment of the ODN in the middle. The integrated cabling system of an all-optical campus mainly includes the optical distribution frame, corridor fiber access terminal, access terminal box, and components such as splitters, fibers, optical cables, and patch cords. Now let's have a look at some concepts in an ODN system. An ODF connects devices to other devices or optical cables. In the all-optical campus scenario, an ODF is mainly used to connect OLT PON ports to feeder optical cables and connect OLTS to upstream core devices. Similar to OLTS, ODFS are usually deployed in cabinets in data center equipment rooms in campuses. For medium and large-sized all-optical campus networks, fiber distribution modules are separately installed. In fiber distribution cabinets, for small-scale all-optical campus networks, fiber distribution modules and OLTS can be installed in the same cabinet. FAT is short for Fiber Access Terminal. It is the boundary between the feeder optical cable and the terminal flexible optical cable. It is usually installed in an extra low voltage room of a floor. In most cases, an optical splitter is also installed in an FAT. A splitter is used to split one or two channels of input optical signals into multiple channels of output optical signals. Splitters can be classified into even and uneven splitters. Based on the output optical power, an even splitter is generally used in Starlink design. An uneven splitter is mainly used for long-distance chain networking. In an all-optical campus network, even splitters are generally used. Common even splitters have the preceding split ratios. A 2N splitter is used when type B link protection is required. Currently, mainstream splitters include rack-mounted splitters, box-shaped splitters, and bare fiber splitters. A rack-mounted optical splitter can be installed in a standard 19-inch cabinet, data center equipment room, or building ELV room. A box-shaped splitter is generally installed in a corridor FAT. An access terminal box is used to terminate a terminal flexible optical cable. It is the connection point between a terminal flexible optical cable and an ONU patch cord. An access terminal box is generally installed on an indoor wall close to an ONU. Finally, an end-to-end -end all optical campus network is constructed, from the core device in the communication equipment room, to the OLT and then to the ONU. In the integrated cabling of an all optical campus network, different buildings require different ODN deployment solutions. Centralized splitting is suitable for low-rise office buildings on campuses. Distributed optical splitting is suitable for high-rise buildings. Summary The integrated cabling of an FTTO network includes the optical fiber network and optical components, which requires end-to-end -end comprehensive planning. Different deployment solutions can be used based on campus building models and service requirements.